Sometimes when I'm building a course in Presenter with a lot of slide hyperlinks, one thing I like to do is test the links in PowerPoint slideshow mode just to make sure that each hyperlink is pointed to the right slide. It's kind of a nice way to do a quick check. And you probably already know that you can display slideshow mode by hitting F5 or we can come up here to the slideshow tab and choose from beginning or from current slide. Or another way is we can click on this little icon down here in the lower right to display the slideshow from the current slide. But you've probably noticed that when you use any of those options, unless you've changed PowerPoint's default settings, the slideshow is going to take up your whole screen, right? Which sometimes is going to be kind of a problem because unless you've got multiple monitors, it means that it's kind of hard to get to your PowerPoint file to make edits while your slideshow is running. It just becomes kind of cumbersome to keep opening and closing the slideshow to go back and forth to your file. So here's kind of a cool tip. If you hold down your control key and then click on this from current slide button or this little icon down here in the lower right, that's going to display your slideshow in this much smaller format. And it's going to work just like slideshow mode usually would. So I can, you know, test my hyperlinks here and just make sure that everything behaves the way I expect it to. But the cool thing is it leaves my PowerPoint file open and accessible. So I can, you know, have both of these running at the same time. And that way, if I need to make any changes, like, you know, if I want to maybe change the destination of the hyperlink that I've applied to this red text here, I can do that real easily. Or I can even change, you know, the content of my slide. So like if I want to change this word right here, you can see that the change takes effect dynamically over here in my slideshow view. And then when I'm ready, I can just close out the slideshow by clicking or by hitting the escape key and that's going to leave my PowerPoint file still open. So this might help your productivity a little bit to be able to view your slideshow and still keep your PowerPoint file very easily accessible for editing at the same time.